Hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a dietitian here in Gaspé. Today I'm going to talk about uh, prenatal nutrition. So it's very uh, when uh, you are pregnant, what you can eat, what you should avoid and um, everything like about vitamins or minerals that you need to have for um, the growth of your baby. So at first, it's the healthy plate. So the healthy plate is uh, half the plate with um, vegetables or fruits. And so you have half the plate with this. Then the uh, a quarter will be a protein food. So protein foods can be uh, tofu, it can be chicken, uh, beef, can be yogurt, uh, milk, f uh, nuts, seeds. Then uh, the other quarter of the plate is going to be a whole grain foods, but it's okay if it's just a grain fruit, foods, not, not fruits, a uh, food. And it's a uh, pasta, it's rice, uh, quinoa. So it's very the healthy plate. So it's um, the plate that we should try to, um, it's like the object, um, yeah, the, the goals, but if it's okay if uh, it's not at every meal that we have this plate, it's very okay. So it's, and with this, uh, this plate, it's very important to have, uh, to, to diversify um, the fruits that we eat, the vegetables, uh, the protein foods, and the, the green foods also. Then uh, the other um, thing that is important is to uh, pick some uh, low in mercury uh, fish. Uh, so for an example, it's uh, salmon. You can eat a uh, salmon uh, mackerel. Uh, it's two example, but you're gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna give you a list on the memory aid with um, every low in mercury uh, fish that you can eat. It's very so that your uh, child doesn't have um, because the mercury can be toxic for your child. So if it's too high, it can be uh, dangerous. Then uh, the other one, it's with um, it just to eat a little more calories like a little more food that you will normally, normally do. So more the pregnancy um, goes, more, uh, the, you should increase your uh, intake. Intake, so because you're gonna have, you're gonna, your needs will be higher. The other one is to drink water. So normally we should drink, even uh, when we are not pregnant, we should uh, drink about 1.52 liters uh, per day. And this includes uh, all other beverages that we can eat, we can drink. <laughs> so yeah, so drink water. And uh, another thing is about caffeine intake. So there is not only a coffee that contain, um, contains uh, caffeine, there is also energy drinks. Um, there is tea, chocolate, and some uh, herbs, so some um, like a gua, gua, guarana, which contain caffeine. So you should uh, try to limit your caffeine intake to 300 uh, milligrams per day. So for coffee, it's around uh, two cups um, per day of, um, of coffee that you should drink. And then after uh, for the iron, so iron is, uh, you should try to consume uh, iron rich uh, food. So uh, what food contains iron? There is uh, meat, so beef, uh, you can, you can, it can be chicken, so poultry, it can be eggs, it can be uh, fish, it can be lentil, uh, peas, beans, uh, tofu. So this is all kind of foods that you can eat. There is going to be, is going to be uh, rich in uh, iron and, um, when you eat those kind of, uh, of food, you should try to avoid to drink tea or coffee at the same time. Because uh, caffeine, so uh, that in, inside of this drink, are going to um, decrease the absorption of iron. So if you combine both, uh, if you drink coffee while uh, eating maybe um, eggs, uh, the iron that's going you're going to absorb will be less than if you just ate um, your eggs. So this is one, and you can also um, take a multivitamin with uh, 16 to 20 milligrams of iron inside. So this is it for iron. Then we're gonna um, go to folic acid. So folic acid is also a vitamin that is very important to uh, for the growth growth and the development of your child. So 
if you while uh, choosing a vit multivitamin for iron you can choose one that also contains folic acid and it should be about 0.4 milligrams inside the multivitamins that you should um, look for um, so everyone that can become pregnant that is breastfeeding um, that is planning a pregnancy should um, try to uh, eat a supplement in folic acid so that's all for the vitamins and the uh, minerals then for the alcohol intake so during pregnancy you should uh, not drink any alcohol so it's very uh, can vary if you eat if you drink some it can harm the baby so you try to use during the whole pregnancy the entire pregnancy you should um, don't uh, you should not drink uh, some alcohol now we're gonna talk about talk about uh, food poisoning so when you are pregnant, uh, you are uh, you have an increased risk of food poisonings. So it's very important to avoid certain type of foods like raw fish, uh, such as in sushi. It can be a uh, raw undercooked uh, meat, poultry, and seafood. Uh, raw unpasteurized uh, cheese. It can be unpasteurized also juices that you should avoid. Raw fruits. Uh, unheated so at um, a dog sausage so if you pick a, a dog sausage from the um, the package you should cook like just eat it before eating it then there is uh, you should avoid non-dry uh, daily meats um, refrigerate uh, pate refrigerate um, meat spread and refrigerate smoked seafood there is also raw or uh, likely cooked eggs um, or egg products. So the, when you eat eggs, it's the yellow parts should be um, solid. So everything, there is, it shouldn't be a uh, liquid. So everything, the white part and the yellow part should be solid. So well cooked. And you should avoid some pasteurized, pasteurized uh, cheese. So that's all for the food poisoning uh, prevention. And then just some uh, small tips for um, that will help you during the pregnancy or afterwards. It's to prepare, like when you have the energy, to prepare meal. So just prepare some meals and freeze it. So maybe use the, the freezer and can be meals and snacks. So do um, like a meal prep. So prepare uh, everything that you think you're gonna need during the pregnancy or maybe after, you know, when you have the baby, sometimes you don't have the energy to cook. So while uh, you have the energy, it's very good to uh, plan ahead and cook, 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 and then freeze it. So it's gonna be uh, ready for uh, after, after the, the baby is born. So that's all, thank you.